Okay, let's see what we can do with this silly equipment. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, let's see what we have here. It is, it says love. It's got little glitter, bits of glitter. And the back, it's got a, it's a fridge magnet and it's made in China. So it's an interesting, feels like ceramic, but it may not be ceramic. Anyway, it says love. It's a, it's a um, an affirmation piece. A lot of people seem to think that they can magically know what love is by sticking this on their fridge. Uh, I really find affirmations quite empty. Uh, it's taken me most of my life to find out what love is and now I know. And my dad never knew what love was and he still doesn't know he's a dick. I asked him the question when I was, when I was 10, but I was thinking about a song called What Is Love which came out the same year and basically dad returned replied with with the same question I said what is love and he said what is love basically <laughs> total idiot it's a fucktard he's an idiot my dad knows nothing he studies philosophy and I don't see any any wisdom come out of it but his philosophy classes are off anyway. But, you know, most people don't know what love is, to be honest. It's, I think it's most people. Most people think they know what love is just because they turn up to a family event. I've got to enlarge it a little, reduce it a bit down a bit more. They pretty well they don't know what love is and they and yet they think they know what love is because they're attending a family event or a social event and they think that they uh, that they uh, know what love is they think that just because they're social that that love is something that they know about but most families don't have it you know all the fighting and all the all the all the difficulties that people have with toys you know buying toys for christmas and kids demanding too much uh but it's not but it's the parents that bring the kids up to do that i'm afraid uh but i'm gonna make this into a movement piece i think i don't know how it's gonna look i'm wondering if i'm gonna just darken it a bit but yeah, it's, love is something that is, is not always found at Christmas time. Even though people believe that they do love, that they know about it. So many people, they just think that, that, that they have to see their, their family or their friends. I mean, sure, that's a big part of Christmas, but it's not the only part. Uh, but basically, yeah, we have to... Um, it's really difficult the way people mistakenly think they know what love is. And I don't know, I just... I can't talk for individuals. Um, but basically, yeah, it's really, 
not an easy thing to learn for a lot of people. A lot of people will die not knowing what love really is. They'll die. They'll die of broken hearts and ang anxieties. Anyway, that looks interesting. It's all been broken up. <laughs> but basically most people don't know what love is and maybe love looks a bit like this, a, a, a bit of a disarray. Um, that it doesn't look beautiful as it should be. That it's a mess that most people's idea of love ends up being a mess like this picture. It does, folks. It looks like a wreckage and it's just, what is love? You know, what is love? You could say what this picture could be called. What is love? It could be called what is love because it's all fucked. It's all fucked up. It's not there. There's nothing there, folks. Yeah, what is love, hey? And it's Christmas Eve and people are worried about what the COVID-19 outbreak is going to do to their Christmas uh, plans. And most people, even though they don't know what love is, they cherish family and friends ardently as if it was love but a lot of families are dysfunctional and argue a lot and have bad dynamics like my like my dad and my brother i can't tolerate them anymore i just don't feel like being treated like i'm a piece of shit and that my opinions matter not so i'm not going to expose myself to that kind of negativity and basically my dad still doesn't know what love is and neither does my brother. And my mum has also screwed up uh, in a different way. I get along with my mum, which is good. <laughs> but my dad and my brother, I don't. And I'm going to... But when they apologise to me, I'm going to forgive them. That's going to be a like a future Christmas gift or it may not happen... On Christmas Day, it could happen any time. Any time that they say sorry. I will. I'll forgive them. I'm not interested in holding a grudge forever. I'm not. I don't want to. And we can't see them anyway because my brother resides in South Australia and my dad lives in, in one of the hot, hot zones of coronavirus. So I, I can't see him and my bro I can't see my brother. So they normally see each other over Christmas, uh, but basically COVID has put a damper, I do think, on plans. Just trying to straighten it out. Anyway. That's come up really rich and decadent. I think now we can call this demo quits. <laughs>